Hi everyone and welcome back for another episode in my inventory system tutorial series. In the last episode uh, we went through how to add the stacking and non-stacking items to our inventory and hopefully got that all working with no issues. In the last episode also I touched upon the chest and how you work uh, with that. Well since then I've come up with a better system for doing it and I thought I'll show you that in this episode. So let's make a new folder first. And I'm going to call mine containers. And inside there, I'm going to have a new blueprint class of an actor. And I'm going to call it container. So similar to the items where we had a parent item class and loaded sub items, we're going to do the same thing here for containers. So this is going to be a parent container and we have a load of sub containers. So the parent container is going to have a few things in the components. So in the components, add component for a static mesh. Add a box collision and we want to add our inventory component like so so the inventory component we're going to give some default values for this so we're going to call it container and it's going to by default have eight slots the position of it i'm going to type in minus 500 that will off center it from the center of the screen to the left by 500 pixels everything else i can leave as it is I'm going to also go add another variable. So add a variable called items. And this is going to be a slot structure type. So change it to a slot structure. And it's going to be an array. And what this is, this is going to be how you set what items appear in the chest or container rather. Um, mid game in, in engine or in the editor. Um, freely and uh, separate from each uh, uh, encapsulated in separately from each other so i can leave this as it is but i want to make sure i tick expose on spawn and instance editable uh, we're done here click compile and go to class settings and we want to add the interact interface because we can interact with it and we just could do the code for that so what's going to happen when you interact with it we're going to do uh compile sorry right click and do interact so it's very similar to what we've done with the items so event interact from the interact interface we're going to cast this to the player's character first person character and from there we're going to toggle the inventory components toggle inventory toggle inventory okay. right, so that's now going to show up every time we interact with the chest or container rather uh, toggle the inventory of that container before we do that though we want to also do a begin play and what we want to do we want to copy the contents of our items we set in the editor or the engine and copy them over to the inventory components inventory array so drag out your items onto the thing and get items and you will do a for each loop And this is how you copy items from one array to another. So I'm going to go get that other array, go to inventory component, get the inventory array. And I want to set the array element. And hook it up to the loop body. So the array element will go down to item and the index will be the array index. And that's all I'm going to need to do here. So this allows me to set items in the editor or in game mid game uh, whenever I want and this will when it's created uh, uh, basically set the inventory uh, copy them over into the actual inventory itself click compile and we're done here so if I want to make a treasure chest for example all I do is right click on the container create child blueprint class treasure chest open it up I can give it a static mesh in this case just going to give it a cube and I'm going to increase the size of the uh, box collision, like so. Um, and I'm going to click on the inventory component, and I can customize the inventory component of this treasure chest. So the name of it, I can call it a treasure chest. And this one's going to have four slots. Click compile. And I can go back to my first person map, and I can drag these treasure chests out. Um, 
as I wish. And I'll play it. It shows the window for it. And it works the same with tab key because we've done it on the window. If I hit tab without clicking on the E key, I get the backpack. But if I hit E and hit tab, it'll close the treasure chest inventory. Okay. So what I mean by setting the items in it, I can click on the treasure chest here. And down in the bottom right, the default, I can see items. I can set the items I want to show by clicking on a little plus item. So I'm going to just do this. I'm going to click on the plus icon. Expand this open. Expand open again. And you'll see all the options for the item. Now, we're not going to waste time and just set all these every single time. Uh, it, it, you get errors that way. So let's change the class uh, to the item herb, for example. And you're going to have three. So it has one slot, one stack of three item herbs. But if I play this, it won't actually show yet. Okay. So I need to change it to... So it, it reads and shows the slot contents correctly for the treasure chest based on that items. So to do that, we're going to go back into our inventory component and look at our prepared, prepare inventory function. So this function we used last time to resize the inventory and it was called on the begin play. When it begins play as well this time though, we are going to... Um, we uh, so we're going to go through the inventory of it and check the class for it and then set it settings correctly based on the class defaults the we want to prepare the inventory so what we're basically doing is because we're only setting the item class here we don't want to fill out all the details every time manually we want to do it automatically so this is what we're going to do here is set the contents correctly uh, to filter right through completely so to do that we're going to go do a for loop for the inventory. So with the inventory, drag that out. And you do for each loop. And hit that up like so. Um, and then for each one, because at that moment this only has a class. Uh, for each one, we're going to check whether or not it has a class assigned. So if it's empty or not, essentially, because it's the only thing we've set in it. So the array element, we're going to just split that for now and take the item structure out and type break item structure and expand that open and you'll see class is there and with the class we're going to check whether or not it is empty so do a not equals to class and leave it as blank empty so this is going to say basically is there something there that will go to a branch and then from there, we'll hook that up to a loop body. So for each item, it's going to check whether or not the class has been set. If there is a class set, we're going to then go set array element. So from here, set array element. The array we want to set will be the inventory. The index is going to be the array index from the for loop. And the item though, is going to come from different things. So the item we're going to split here, so we get the quantity and the item structure separate. The class we're going to drag out and type get class defaults. And that will spit out the item structure default for that class. So that will have all the details and all the information about each item. So we can drag that out and plug that straight into our item there. And the quantity comes from here. And you can tidy this up a bit if you want, but that does it really. Click compile. Um, we now need to make sure we are calling this prepare inventory at the correct time. So at the moment, this will spawn as it is constructed, as it begins play. However, what we also want to do is recheck it and re-double check every time we open it up too. So we're going to go to toggle inventory. And at the start of this um, is not valid line, this, when we create the window, we're going to put that prepare inventory node in. So drag that in and you'll just slot it in between these two, like so, and click compile. So now, if I was to play this, hopefully this should work. If I was to open this up, yes, it will show the correct information. It will show the correct thumbnail and the quantity. 
and the beauty of this system is is that once that's all set up i can then make another container appear like so and i can give that one different items so i can go in here and say this one has uh, a rock so item class item rock and quantity one i can click play and go here and there's my rock and because these two are different instances they have different quantities and different uh, uh, arrangements maybe this one has uh, another uh, element so I click on a plus make another one and this one has herbs in it as well two herbs click play go in here and there you go and that's how flexible the system is and what that means is also because they're exposed on spawn i can actually spawn these boxes in game so for example if i want a loot crate to appear with a certain amount of loot in it i can make these appear and then ra and then set the item array elements as much as i like i can make them random I can make them whatever i want really um and that's the flexibility of this version of an inventory system um and hopefully people will start to see why this system's quite good and quite powerful because it's a bit of legwork once you set it up um but once you yeah once you set it up it is super flexible and super easy and quick to make more items make more containers make uh make containers and items appear mid-game and with the right details and all that stuff so thank you very much for watching this part uh in the next part we're going to do the actual thing i wanted to do which was show you how to make it so when you say have items in your slots and if you right click on it it will use it but if you right click on it in the inventory here uh, it will transfer from there into your inventory okay so transferring from one inventory to another is next episode thank you very much for watching please like subscribe uh, to the channel if you have any comments or questions or queries, please leave them down below. And I look forward to hearing and seeing you guys next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.